Hey, Eric here from Games for Hyper. Quick update on my cave system. So, uh, as you remembered, uh, I did create uh, these separate objects. All of these I combined into uh, meshes. Uh, these are the tunnels, but I also have them for the rooms with uh, openings, etc. And based on the sections, I'm creating these splines, which we can adapt in the editor like so. Okay. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure to fill the splines with some elements and I wanted to use the PCG for that. So what I did, as you can see right now, on the ground, um, these rocks are being spawned. These small rocks, but also some small amounts of foliage. And I also uh, made sure to spawn some foliage there on the top, which I really like. Well, <laughs> maybe this one is a bit too dense, but you get the idea. Yeah, uh, and obviously if you click on this PCG, I have one for the roof. This one has uh, different parameters which we can uh, manipulate in real time. I did not have uh, my project set to real time, but check this. So boom, so now the density, now every 10 centimeters, uh, a cluster response, now every five centimeters, now uh, every centimeter. So. We can adjust that in real time. And also these rocks are being spawned and this is uh, on the PC ground. This one has the same parameters, um, which we can use to, uh, whoa, this, this part is really dark. Hmm. Maybe we should create wall lights. Let me check. Oh, nice. So, oh, this looks this looks really well. Yeah, I love this. Uh, we can also uh, destroy the generated lights again or recreate it. And I also have a button for uh, roof lights. Uh, these are more like uh, lanterns, like that one. Uh, nice, and we can just switch them. And here you can see, okay. Uh, which light is spawned where, uh, which I really enjoy. And obviously, we have the same for this. Uh, here, uh, we already have the light, so destroy it. Create a roof light or create wall lights. Destroy everything. Um, yeah, and here, here uh, especially in this tunnel, you can see the rocks on the ground really, really well. So that gives quite a good effect. And now, oh well, let me also show you this big room, which, which looks really cool. But I also did it for this one. And uh, let me check. Yeah, I think I did not set this parameter yet. Uh, room, small, perfect. Yeah. So this one, uh, first of all, I uh, did create the numbers, one, uh, zero, and two for all the exits. And this one now creates these rocks and also uh, uh, some small uh, shrubs uh, on the ground. And also these rooms have buttons right now to make sure, hey, um, create wall lights, boom. Uh, destroy the lights, great. Um, Let's spawn a god ray and then rotate the god ray to the sun. Uh, so this is now a god ray. So if I remove it, you can see the effect. Spawn it, rotate it. Perfect. Nice. And let's take a look at one of the larger rooms like this one. So here you can also see the rocks on the ground. Ah, you can already see the god ray. And I think if I press Control alt l I'm able to rotate the light like so and rotate the god ray again. Oh, this one. Yeah. So now you see that the uh, god ray is changing position. Nice. Perfect. So yeah, um, I really enjoyed this. I hope you like this too. I also have 
this implemented for this massive uh, large room and I think using PSG for this really makes uh, uh, these tunnels and, and, and these rooms uh, way more alive and uh, I think based on this the toolkit is so much more easy to use and you can create massive cave systems really quickly of a very high quality. I hope you like it. If you have any feedback, please let me know. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.